I'm Cade Matthews. And I'm Joe Corbin. We are from the Lounge High FFA chapter. We use the scientific method to learn that Cool Terra, a biocarbon product, would significantly increase pea plant root growth in a field test. We collaborated with experts and used the scientific method to solve an agricultural problem. We use statistical analysis and the empirical method to support our hypothesis. We used a two-group experimental design to test the hypothesis. The experimental set of plants received a 1% cool terra treatment to the soil of the test plot, and the control set received no treatment. The specimen were iron clay pea plants. Data was calculated by averaging the measurements and comparing the groups. A t-test was used to analyze the data. We noticed some limitations which could serve as variables to our project. Some of them included our incompatible schedules, lack of funds, time, and equipment, and varying climate and soil conditions specific to our test plot location. We were able to control some of the variables, including the same climate or weather for both plots, the amount of cool terra, and the seeds planted for our specific soil types. Controlling these variables allowed us to reach valid conclusions. Caden, how and why was this project selected? This research began four years ago after a consultant for the Cool Plant Company, Mr. Jim Ball, approached us, and he gave us an unpublished study by the Cool Plant Company that explains the origin and production of Cool Terra. He taught us Cool Terra is a biocarbon solar movement which has undergone pyrolysis, a normal process for biochar production. Pyrolysis is heating up organic matter to 932 degrees Fahrenheit. This is done in the absence of oxygen, which breaks down the organic matter and results in biochar. The second cool terra production process biochar goes through is the Demetria process, which is patented by the Cool Plant Company. Originally, Mr. Ball wanted us to test microbial activity. However, over the past four years, we have conducted various experiments using cool terra, which we conducted only in a greenhouse. This year, we want to test cool terra on a plant that had never been tested previously and to test this seed in a real world farm environment. Having identified the problem, we began using the scientific method to solve an agricultural issue. We then conducted background research, consisting of reviewing literature, and interviews with experts where we learned that McGeehan said in the Journal of Applied and Environmental Science that waste materials have many characteristics that can improve soil fertility and help plants grow. We also learned that Anderson and Hamaza in the Australian Journal of Plant Physiology that microbes play important roles in the acquisition and transfer of plant nutrients in soil. We use this information to develop hypothesis, which state that cool terra will significantly increase iron clay pea root production in a farm environment. We also hypothesized a critical value of less than 0.05. Caden, were there any surprises in our project and how did we handle them? The biggest surprise we noticed was as soon as the plant surfaced, white-tailed deer started to browse them heavily. They especially stripped the plants of leaves while mostly leaving the stalk. We had originally planned to weigh the mass of the entire plant, therefore we adapted our original plan once we found literature by Anderson and Hamaza supporting root growth as an indicator of plant health. We then modified our experiment and in order to maintain the integrity of our original study. This was a difficult variable to control. Since we were going for a real world experiment, we let the deer continue to browse. Once the desired growing period was achieved, we then carefully pulled 10 random one foot by one foot squares from both the experimental and control plots. This offered excellent specimen and since the deer never actually ate the roots, our experiment was not negatively impacted. Joe, what did we learn? We learned a great deal over the course of experimenting with Cool Terra. While collaborating with Mr. Bone, we learned to calculate a 1% soil treatment of Cool Terra for the experimental plot. He also advised us on incorporating the treatment into the soil. We learned a great deal about teamwork throughout this study. For example, I focused more on the statistical analysis and computer-based parts of the project. Whereas I focused more on the in-field and hands-on parts of the experiment. This worked out very well since I'm more familiar and comfortable with a computer. 
And since I grew up on a farm and am more familiar with the farming aspects, this project required. We learned many scientific skills. For example, we learned how to conduct a statistical analysis to analyze our data. A statistical analysis is a series of mathematical equations and expressions that organizes and compares data groups. With a critical value of 0.05, our t-test yielded a p-value of 0.0053. This was supported by our confidence interval, which says if this project was repeated, we are 95% sure that 99 times out of 100 similar results would be found. We could also say that our two groups of data are 99% different on a large scale. This led to our first conclusion, which was that our hypothesis was accepted due to the critical value. This agreed with McGeehan's work in the literature. But wait, that's not all. The second conclusion was Colterra increases iron clay pea root length by 42%. We also concluded in the third conclusion that Colterra increases iron clay pea stem length by 17.6%. These results were supported in the literature by Professor Anthony Blah, Liu, and other experts. However, we are most excited about our final conclusion, which followed Reichenberger's work on soil health, which equated 200 pounds of high nitrogen fertilizer per acre to achieving top soil organic matter. Coolterra is an intense form of organic matter that increases beneficial soil microbial activity. Using this information, we were able to conservatively estimate that if farmers were to use Coolterra instead of a traditional fertilizer, they could add a value of approximately anywhere over $32 billion annually. Now that's a lot of money. Thank you for taking the time to hear how we use the scientific method to learn that Coolterra does indeed significantly increase iron clay pea root production.